Welcome to a Sim School Fast Facts video. In less than five minutes, we'll tell you everything that you have to know about successfully navigating to content, completing it, creating a report, and ensuring that your instructor or supervisor also sees that you've completed that work. Let's log into Sim School. When I first log in, I always arrive at my course dashboard. I'll click on the course in which I'd like to work on content and then navigate to my modules. Now, the first time that I open up a module, I'll always want to scan and see what items are in my timeline. Here I see my overview and instructions, resources, my teaching sims, and observations. When I click on teaching sims, I see how many classes there are for me to teach. Now, I know that I have to teach in each class for at least 15 minutes to create a full report, and I have to do that for each class in the module for my instructor to see that it's complete. I can teach each class as long as I want to. I can repeat teach them if I want to. And that could be for less than 15 minutes or more than 15 minutes, but I must teach for at least 15 to get credit for that module. Now, when I click on observations, I'll see I haven't taught at all, and there's no information available for me to run a report. Let's look at a module in which there has some work that's been done. Here, when I click on classroom management grade one, Notice that I also see reflection questions in my timeline. Sometimes programs or individual instructors will request that reflection questions be added into a student's experience. So that's why it's really important to check that timeline and see if you see them. You must teach every class in the module for at least 15 minutes and create a report to be able to answer those reflection questions. Let's look at the teaching sims. Now I can see here that I've begun one teaching class I've completed all my others and submitted them, so I've taught them for 15 minutes. I can double check that on my observations page and see all the times that I've played and all the minutes that I've taught. But this one particular class, I was still teaching for a longer period of time. So let's go ahead and restart it. And I remember that anytime I navigate away from my browser window or that I stop or if a browser closes, SimSchool never loses my time, it will automatically pause that simulation for me, and that's why I see a blue star. Now on my instructor's dashboard, they'll see a blue circle when I've actively started teaching in a module, but they won't see that the module is complete until I've gone through all the steps of teaching, creating a report, making sure that all of these are green check marks, and answered reflection questions if I have them. So let's go ahead and let this class start and then we're going to submit it so we can see what the process is of creating a report. I've taught this class for more than enough time. I'm going to go ahead and submit it. I'm reminded that I'm now locking this sim. I won't be able to play in it again. I've told Sim School that I've done. I'm going to go to class one, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a report. And this is what a full observation report looks like. And notice the second that I did that, all of my check marks turned green. So now after I've had a chance to review all of these reports, then I can go back to my reflection questions and notice that now I have the opportunity to provide an answer. Once I've done that for all of the reflection questions, I can submit it. And after that point on my course main page, I will see that I've completed one module and my instructor will see that I've completed that as well. Those are the essentials to ensuring that you teach for enough time, that you complete an observation report, and that if your module does have reflection questions, you know how to answer them. Before we close, let's look really quickly at what a module looks like if you have reflection questions, but you haven't done any teaching yet. You can always view the reflection questions, but notice there's no text entry field. I have to teach, I have to reflect on my observations, and then I can come back and answer my questions. Good luck and have fun teaching in SimSchool.